Hey guys, Christian here from Corsini Acoustic Solution. This week we are going to unbox and review this Kairos Tunable Absorber from Art Novion. Stay tuned! Okay guys, so here we have the, uh, the Skyros and they come in uh, two units uh, per box. So when you open the uh, box, um, this is what you find. An installation guide and um, also the Skyro has a, a technical file same as all the other products and you can download that one from our website www.corsini.com.au also the box uh, uh, comes with some uh, uh, protectors okay this one first part has some uh, uh, sort of insulation there are also some uh, corner protectors as well and uh, the panels are, are all individually wrapped some carton, yeah. now let's take one panel out of the box and uh, we'll review it so I've taken one panel out of the box and I wanted to quickly show you that also the carton box itself comes with uh, protectors that are stick on um, both sides I'm not sure if you can uh, if you can see inside it's one here one also at the bottom and one on this other side so uh, the panels are really uh, are wrapped really well and uh, they they come with a lot of uh, protection uh, so they don't get damaged okay here we have this Kairos tunable absorber it is composed of a wood front panel which naturally absorbs excessive uh, reverberation and a Helmholtz resonator and also a high performance uh, acoustic cell phone. Let's take a look at the back. Here we can see uh, two uh, acoustic uh, core uh, made of cell phone and uh, in a serrated design. Um, this type of design, including the uh, air cavities, uh, helps to increase absorption by 30%. And on the front panel, uh, you can see a selector here. The Skyros technology allows you to target specific frequency ranges. So by moving the leveler, we can have uh, the Elmos resonator opening and closing. So the first mode is 100% uh, uh, closed, so it's in a, a full reflection mode. Uh, then the first um, frequency range uh, we can target is 125 to uh, 800 hertz. Then the second mode is 300 to 1250 hertz. And then we have the last mode uh, 500 to 8000 hertz. So I find this panel uh, really useful for uh, uh, music production studios uh, and mixing studios, but also recording rooms especially where you, um, you might record uh, uh, vocal performances or uh, acoustic instrument performances and uh, if you find that the rooms have uh, specific resonances uh, um, uh, you can use this type of panels to decrease the energy that, that those resonances uh, produce and uh, hence recording a more balanced uh, 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 overall performance. Uh, the uh, Skyros tunnel absorber comes uh, in a variety of uh, uh, lacquer and natural uh, wood finishes but also custom colors can be uh, provided. Um, the size is uh, 1200 by 595 millimeters and the Skyros can be installed using uh, the um, Fixart tube or the Fixart clip system. Uh, you can also use the uh, uh, FixArt Connect uh, to link more panels uh, together if you are planning to have a few of them stacked in a vertical or horizontal array uh, just to give a more uh, um, uh, neat and uh, cleaner look. Today we are going to install this Kairos on the uh, Art Novio mobile wall kit. We previously did an uh, assembly and a review of the uh, mobile wall kit. I will leave the link to the video in the description, but you can also see um, a card appear in the right corner, I believe. 
so let's get uh, to install the Skyros. Okay, now we're going to install the Skyros uh, absorber on the Art Novion mobile wall kit. Um, we also have uh, one panel already installed on this uh, kit. This is the uh, vector absorber. We previously made a review on this panel as well. Uh, we'll leave the link in the description. Uh, this is a design made uh, uh, from uh, Jamorel in collaboration with Artonomium. This is a really uh, good performing uh, uh, absorber. Um, so when, uh, when you receive the Artonomium mobile wall kit, you also find in the box uh, these uh, stud bolts and uh, the clips. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to install them on the panel. So behind the panel uh, you can see uh, this uh, M6, M6 uh, screw insert, all we have to do is get in the uh, stud bolts, we screw them in. Grab one of the clips. Grab some of this, uh, and we'll screw the clips as well. That's it. After you put them uh, all around, you can clip the panel on the uh, uh, mobile wall kit. We install four uh, clips, that should be sufficient. And here we have the Skyro Stinable Absorber on the mobile wall kit. Hey guys, so we installed both our units uh, uh, on the mobile wall kit and this is uh, how they look on the uh, uh, standing kit. Uh, one uh, small correction I want to give you guys is before I said that four clips would have been uh, sufficient by, uh, but I actually went ahead and installed all eight clips. Uh, they just feel more secure uh, on, uh, on, the, on the kit so make sure you install all of them so four on each side. Okay, now you're all probably curious to know if these panels really work as advertised, if we can really target specific frequency ranges and uh, uh, tune uh, uh, on those uh, resonances, on those frequencies and decrease the energy that they produce in a room. Uh, now, uh, just a quick note on room modes and resonances, that's a different topic for another YouTube video. Um, uh, but for today, just to summarize what I did is uh, I found the offending frequencies using an FFT analyzer, um, fast Fourier transform with the sound generator, uh, outputting the frequencies or the sound through a studio monitor. And then we are also using a reference mic, a mini DSP, UMIC-1, um, to uh, reference the loudness of those uh, resonances. So, uh, the way the room modes and resonances work in a room is they will have the maximum pressure zone here on the walls and then uh, uh, depending on which frequency is and how long the wavelength uh, of that sound wave um, is, uh, they will develop other maximum pressures and minimum pressures uh, zones uh, along uh, each dimension of the room. Uh, now, room modes can create really complex uh, uh, interferences, um, uh, but I really found some of the frequencies that we are targeting here on the side walls. And the reason why is because we are going to install these panels, to place these panels uh, on one each side wall along the listening position. Uh, so we are trying to create a more balanced uh, and flatter response uh, um, between the side walls. Uh, you can also test them or place them uh, in uh, back walls, front walls uh, uh, or even corners. But we are going to have other different panels, for, uh, uh, for the, especially for the corners, we are going to use some base traps. So it was more logical for us to test the panels on the side walls. Uh, now, let's get to it. 
the first frequency that I found uh, it's 196 hertz so I'm going already wrote 196 so we're gonna output the sound um, I'm not sure how you're going to uh, the sound you're going to pick through the uh, camera microphone but uh, uh, where you when you are outputting a frequency you move around the room you will hear the frequency differently depending where you are so closer to the walls for example the frequency is gonna be uh, louder and as soon as you move from the frequency from that room mode you're gonna hear it um, uh, some volume changes now let's try with the microphone placing the microphone here and let's see I'm gonna here I'm gonna place the cursor here on the frequency now it's about 84.6 decibel now if I move the uh, selector here to the first mode uh, which is uh, 125 Hz to 800 Hz we should see a reduction and there you have it let's see how much is it so from 84 to 81.2 so it's about 3 decibel let's test the same frequency on this side Now 
let's try to find uh, uh, the minimum pressure. You can see now by moving towards the center of the room, uh, the resonance is decreasing the volume. For example, from uh, uh, the analysis, uh, you know, from this, uh, the stereo setup, you have a big peak on this frequency, and you test these absorbers. You can reduce up to 20 decibel just with one panel on that frequency. Uh, that's a massive absorption. Balance and flat, and that's what we're trying to achieve. You see, here is a minimum 
pressure where the frequency uh, loudness is very low and as you can see from the F50 by, use, by tuning the absorber the frequency comes back up so that way during a, a mixing session you can make better uh, judgment calls on, on your mixing techniques on what you're hearing from the speakers let's get to the next frequency uh, I found 473 A lever which open and closes um, uh, I think it's made of uh, metal so a metal uh, some metal uh, barriers uh, they just slide and they open and close um, these uh, cavities uh, so depending on how much um, how much is, is open how much of the cavities are open you will target different frequency ranges um, really great device. Let's try this other panel. Don't see very a uh, lot of absorption here. So this side. Here you can see a lot of absorption. Let's try to minimum uh, pressure. There it is, there's a little bit 
there you have it. So this is how I place the Skyros uh, tunable absorbers. Uh, I hope you found this uh, video helpful and uh, if you do please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, it will help us with the uh, YouTube algorithm so I can make more uh, uh, videos uh, like this one. Uh, thank you for watching guys, see you next time, ciao!